In the spring of 2022, Iao Intermediate 6th graders of Team Makali'i participated in a legacy project interviewing people in our community and on Iao School campus to find out what their thoughts are on why growing up on Maui and living here is so special. Students were grounded deeper into the roots of our culture through place-based projects as well as oli such as Eia no Mako written by Kumuluana Kava'a. Waikapu, Wailuku, Waiehu, and Waihe, famously known as Nawaieha to Kama'aina, and more modernly known as Waiside to the Opio, is our sense of place, which was woven into curriculum throughout uh, the year. The Kalo project helped me learn about my Ohana and my last name. I get to learn about all of my family's middle names, my brothers and my sisters, and I get to learn about a lot of more things. When I look back at this class, like next year, I can see why Maui is so special. Doing projects in here because it helps me learn about my ohana more. When We Shine Foundation provided support for this project by writing and receiving a grant from the Mokana Aloha Foundation for a multimedia music video project called Our Kupuna and the Aina. After conducting interviews with different elders, students brainstormed words of wisdom they remembered from the interviews that stood out to them. The things that I learned while making the Living Hawaiian South song from my ohana was um, that uh, keeping the bloodline strong and keeping the culture strong is like probably the best thing you could do with the Hawaiian Islands and all that. Like make sure your keiki can enjoy it someday, like in the song. <laughs> Teaching artist Melinda Carroll guided students in pulling their ideas into lyrics, which then turned into a song entitled Living Hawaiian Style. Students of those classes went into the recording studio and sang as a class and in small groups. When we went to go record, I felt excited because I got to go with her. <laughs> and we got to record for our class, and it would sound good when it comes all together with everyone's voices. Mm -hmm. And she said we sounded good together, too. <laughs> Once the song was created, teaching artist Shelley to Lindbergh of Arts and Education of the Gorge guided our haumana in telling the story through visual arts. Something that was fun was painting the buildings because you got to mix up all the colors. Students broke the chorus and verses into main ideas and details to decide which art pieces they would need to create. Through this collaborative process, students use many different skills. Collaboration, cooperation, decision making, communication, and problem solving, just to name a few. So a challenge I had with stop motion was kind of knowing where to place everything, make sure each frame is good, make sure each one doesn't look like it's teleporting or bouncing all over the place. But apart from like just doing the actual project, there was also communicating, or that's what helped my group solve the problem, was by communicating with each other. We each discussed what the teacher was telling us about on how, how to place it, where to place it, and our ideas of how we're going to do everything. Eventually, we all came up with the idea of moving the clouds and moving the fish, so then once all the animals are gone, we'll place down people in the frame. We have heard from our kupuna many important life lessons as we navigate through our future, and we realize that coming from Maui indeed is a special place. We need to care for our land, its resources, and keep living Hawaiian style, because there's nowhere else like it.